they're big dogs. It's up on uh, Hit the Hill, and uh, I've been doing a few laps. It's for for uh, mental health and youth, youth mental health, pretty much. And there's been a few touching videos that's gone on uh, the big screen up here tonight, and there's been a common theme. You know, there's there's a seems to be a higher than usual um, suicide rate for young men who play rugby league in particular and I mean I feel like and and you know what watching these videos you know my eyes teared up a little bit and you know I, I felt a little bit I felt a little bit of shame and a little bit of guilt for feeling sadness during these videos and I think that shame and that guilt and that feeling of weakness is a partly a contributor to why a lot of these young men are committing suicide. You know, the fact that it's inappropriate or it's weak or it's not socially acceptable for men to show certain emotions, sadness, compassion even, you know, being too friendly is, um, somewhat frowned upon by the community and this isn't to, this isn't to say you know that everyone's like this that everyone puts people down or and it might might even be an assumption from men in general that this is a bad thing whereas really it's nobody really thinks it is but I think the point I'm getting at is if you're a dude it's better to speak to someone. It's better to share your problems with close friends. And as a dude, if you're someone who puts people down for feeling sadness, showing vulnerability, being willing to talk about their problems, look, it's unacceptable. It really is. We're in a time and a place now where we know that it's healthier to experience your emotions. It's healthier to talk about your emotions. It's healthier to allow those emotions, uh, allow yourself to feel those emotions, and to do so might just save your life. And not just your life, but your friend's life. So guys especially, if your friends, if you think your friend, and I, and I, I speak, I speak from some personal experience myself being, having in the past been scared to share my emotions, having in the past whenever I do feel sadness or I feel a bit fragile or vulnerable, I'll <laughs> suppress those emotions or push those emotions to, to the side or say they don't, nah, I can't feel those emotions. Be, be willing to ask your mate if they are okay and if they say no, be okay with listening. Just be cool with it. You don't have to offer advice. You don't have to be a mad psychologist, bloody advice giving life changer. Just listening to someone can literally save their life. And if that's one thing I've taken from the stories that I've heard on the big screen tonight, that's the main thing. Be willing to seek help if you are suffering from problems. You're not alone people are out there that are willing to listen to you and if you're a mate if you're a friend of one of these people listen to them just listen to them just hear them understand them be cool with what they're feeling and and don't feel like don't put them down don't put it to the side don't say you'll be right mate just listen it's all good